Welcome everyone and today we are back with another Java coding exercise. Today we are doing something called a class called point. As you can see the first line here it says we have to represent a point in 2D space. Write a class with the name point. Again for anyone new here my name is Kyla Mejo and we kind of just go over and check our different coding examples just to get in the practice of coding. So we'll start off with reading the problem, then we'll code, check it in the IDE, then we will come back to the Udemy tester, where we will check all of our code up against their tester as the ultimate test. So let's get started. The class needs two fields, instant variables, with name x and y of type int. The class needs to have two constructors, the first constructor does not have any parameters, no args constructor. The second constructor has parameters x and y of type int, and it needs to initialize the fields. So it told us we need two variables, a constructor, and then it looks like we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different methods. So our first method is gonna be get x without any parameters, it needs to return the value of x field. Get y without any parameters needs to return the value of y field. Set x with one parameter of type int. It needs to set the value of, of the x field. Method set y with one parameter of type int. It needs to set the value of the y field. Another method is a distance method without parameters. It needs to return the distance between this point and point zero zero as a double. And then we have another method that has two parameters instead of no parameters, both of type int, that will return the distance between this point and point x and y. So it looks like we're gonna have a method that handles distance from zero, distance between that point and zero, distance between two different points and then we have another one that's a distance with the parameter of another type point and it returns the distance between this point and another point as a double. If we scroll down a little further we can see how to find the distance between two points. We have a formula here that we're going to implement in the given distance methods using the square root and then down here at the bottom Udemy provides us with main method test code to test our class and output. Note use mass square root to calculate the square root. Try not to use duplicate code. All methods should be defined as public not public static. If anyone's confused on the difference between public and public static in the earlier videos, we use public static a lot. You can see the difference between that and us just using public here. And as I said before, we'll have seven methods. So let's switch over to the IDE and get to coding, shall we? I'm gonna scroll back up real quick. Okay, now we're in the IDE. I've already typed in the main method test is the same thing as we saw down there at the bottom. We have all these red marks because, of course, we haven't created the classes yet. Now that we're in the point class, let's start off with the two instant variables mentioned before. So we know they're going to be private so that they're only accessible to the point class. And they're both type int. And what are these variables names? We have x and y for the variable. So int x and private int y. Just to zoom in for you guys, so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. So now we have the variables done. Now we have to work on the two constructors. The first one is a no args constructor. So our constructors are named the same thing as our class. So it's a public point with no args. 
And we're going to leave it blank, but this is really just used for default default values. If you were to say you had test values you wanted to use every time to make sure it worked before you ran user input, you'd put it there. So let's make another constructor. This one's going to take in args or arguments, and it's going to be int x and int y. And it says it needs to be initialized. In order to initialize it, we have to use this keyword. So this x is going to equal x, and this y is going to equal y. All right, we got that set up. Now, looks like we are on to the methods. Get to those methods. Just so it'll be a little easier for you guys to see. Let me know if you guys prefer full screens or kind of a split screen setup. Or if you guys just prefer me to do all the code and then leave all the instructions behind. Let me know what you guys prefer. So now we're going to start on these methods, these instant methods. And we're going to start off with the first, the get method. Now the great thing about IntelliJ is, again, that it'll help us with these get methods the getters and setters because they know we already have variables and because this is a class IntelliJ is smart enough to know okay they probably need getters and setters for these methods so that was easy we already have our four methods out the way so now we just have to work on the last three which are our three distance methods so the first one it has no parameters, it's going to return double. So we have to do public double distance with no parameters. And it's just going to return the distance between this point and point zero. So all that's going to happen here is, as you guys saw before, the distance formula I mentioned earlier. I'll scroll back down to it so you guys can see. But basically, we're going to plug in this distance formula into the method. That's basically what we're going to do. So we take the step of, let's see if we can, we can't copy and paste it. Okay. So we'll just write it in the old fashioned way. So first things first, we have to make sure we don't forget the square root. Java has a preset math class. So we're going to call math.square root. Okay. So it's going to take the square root of everything, and then we're going to start calculating the distance formula. So zero minus this, minus dot this equals dot get. And again, oh, too many dots. Get, there we go. You guys may or may not realize this now, but I'll let you know that we don't necessarily need to have the zeros here. Um, later on, or actually here in a minute, IntelliJ is going to start yelling at us for having these zeros. But it's okay. Because we know that they're just here for examples. I'll run it for you both ways and show you that it still works. No matter which way you do it, because it's still subtracting by zero, right? Anything. Minus zero equals zero. So I multiply them. Now we're going to add them together. Let's just add it one. Then we're going to do the same thing. Plus. Have to make sure you have the parentheses just so it stays together. Makes it a little easier to read. Put another parenthesis here. Okay, so that should take care of everything. Let me open this up. We'll zoom out. Okay, so we have X, we have Y. So see it's saying it can be simplified, right? Because we don't need the zero. 
Yeah, see, it's just showing we can just show it with the get this or get y. But for now, we'll keep it the same. After we do the other two, I will show you that it can work without the zeros too. Okay. As you can see here, I just kind of copied and pasted it, but it's because it's going to be the same thing. Because if we scroll back up, second one's two parameters, both int x and y. So we're going to change this to return type int. And it's going to take in int x and int y. And it needs to return this is between this points as doubles. So it's still going to return doubles. Even though it's taking an in x. And it can do that because of wide conversion. If you guys need me to go over that, I can. I've done little videos having to do with the conversions back and forth between like an int to a double or a double to an int. Okay, so basically this is going to be the same thing as, as before, but we're going to replace the zeros, right? So the first set, we're going to replace the zeros with x's, and in the second set, we're going to replace the zeros with y's. Again, this is all based on that distance formula that we're using. This is we have a problem. Okay, this is just referring to see it says create a method distance and points. So if we do this, you see it created our last method for us. Now they have it as a string. We know our point's not a string, our point is it shows us right there, a double. So we'll have to set it up as a double again. And then we can again copy this. I think it's still a copy from before. Oh, just copy the whole thing. So yeah. You just take this and all we're gonna do now is where there's zeros, we're gonna call second dot get x. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, second dot get y, and then we're going to do, that's what we're going to do over here is get y, second, get y, and second get y, and then we're going to test it and see if it works. Okay. So as we can see, they're yelling at us about warnings, right? We double click on it, it's saying sets never being used, and that we can simplify these, right? But for this example, we're going to leave everything alone because that's the way Udemy wants us to test our code. So let's scroll down to see what our output should be. Make sure our inputs are the same so that we get the same output as long as we did it correctly. And yeah, so it looks like we got everything right. So now what do we have to do? We have to test it in the Udemy tester to see if we really got everything right. But I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. Share the video with your friends. If you know anybody that's interested in learning Java or coding. If you guys have any suggestions on any further videos you want me to do or anything in regards to coding, please leave it in the comments below. Alright, as you guys know, this is how we do things. We gotta test it against the ultimate elite tester. So please leave a like, comment down below for getting this far. Fingers crossed we get it on the first try. And we did! Yay! So I want to congratulate you guys. I want to thank you all for staying for this little video here. And just keep coding, guys. And I will code with you guys next time.
Bye.